guys what up welcome back we have i think this is episode 10 so the last one we uh played a little bit last night i had to be quiet now it's daytime it's next day i got the day off so we're gonna be playing a decent amount today <clears throat> and some of the things we're gonna cover so i set up some stuff uh, you guys can see we got i threw a couple more pumpkins down and I actually looked into how uh <laughs> You can actually make these. So we're going to do... It's the 25th. Today's October 25th. So it's almost Halloween time. So I wanted to at least get some of these set up. And we can... Uh, you can carve them with the shears. So you take two pieces of uh, iron. And, and, and you place them like diagonal. And that's how you make shears. And uh, so we got it. We got to... We're, we're balling with a couple of pumpkins here. Figured out how to do that. Uh... And then on the inside, so we could actually uh, go like this. So I've got a, some plans for us today. Uh, I'm going to just bust through this real quick. See, you see the jack-o'-lantern. And then you got you can just use shears to pull out the seeds, which you can just grow more pumpkins. But we have, uh, you can take, forget. And we organized some of our chests just a little bit. I moved, uh, I'll do a slight intro with this. Maybe we have, you can go like this. So I think you pick them up like that. You take the pumpkin. And you throw a light inside of it. And look at that. It makes a jack-o'-lantern. That's cool, huh? So we got a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. We're going to get some of them lit up. Uh, we'll go like this. 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 We're going to have to light all of them up. Maybe a couple of them. Look at that. Cool. A couple jack-o'-lanterns. Do some Halloween stuff. These are all are gonna be temporary. Uh, we have some bigger stuff, so uh, I'll, I'll just kind of intro what I've been working on for two seconds. So I, I, I added a couple more chests in here um, for now. It's obviously it's all temporary, but uh, I, I was gathering, uh, I'm moving some stuff around just to, for our chests, and this is stuff that we're possibly gonna use today or on this episode, which is uh, kind of planning our road. Like uh, a road, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be working on the bridge, and. Uh, doing the road today that's going to kind of go around uh like our plans for our buildings and stuff so you guys can see uh we got a, I, I i dug up you can see my pick it's almost dead this another efficiency four picks almost dead because i went down and I, I was gathering diorite and granite uh last night and uh so we did we, we kind of threw we got so much copper i don't know what the hell to do with all this uh, we dug up some stuff. So I want to come down and show you. And then I kind of, kind of moved around uh, some of, not moved around, but just made like some space in here. Like I know this is temporary, uh, but uh, just so cramped in here. So I kind of put some flo floors down for two seconds. Open this up just so we can kind of see a little bit better what's going on and then i'll come down here so uh, the, the this is what diorite is this white white block so i i kind of chiseled this out a little bit I took f four layers off here and uh got some materials and some diorite and then down here uh you can see my walls i didn't see any granite on the way down so i kind of had to look around for two seconds so i took one of our old pathways over here and i finally found some down here so you guys can see this is where I found my granite started chiseling it out and uh, so that's kind of where my pick went was uh, getting those materials for you guys and then I, I, I cut down some of our trees and in the process so this is another thing in the process of playing last night for like an hour or so we had an attack so the there's a there's these these groups groups of like raiders or mobs called pillagers in the game they have a captain and they have a couple of ads and they're all ranged they have crossbows so what happens is they just you can hear like music start playing and they slowly creep like i don't know if it's like the game knows where you've you've kind of set up camp or like where your base is and like maybe where your materials and all your chests are but they slowly start walking towards where you are so obviously you can ignore them 
but they might start either attacking you or banging. Like obviously with crossbow, crossbows, they can bang on the on the doors and stuff. So I ended up <laughs> uh, killing all three of them in two seconds. I mean, we have full diamond armor, and uh, I just you know just destroyed them with our our our, our sword. But uh, they give you a debuff <clears throat> when you kill those pillagers. Uh, it puts a two hour, I believe a two hour debuff on you or it's a hundred, no, it's a hundred minutes. And, uh, it just, it makes them more frequent and show up more often if you don't take the debuff off. So the way you take the debuff off by killing the, the pillagers is, uh, a bucket of milk. So just something else I learned. And the last real update. Oh, we haven't done anything else besides just gathering stuff. I throw a couple more pumpkins down, but I just I got this set up for two seconds just to kind of show. I think I'm not sure which one I want to do. So we have our roads that we want to put in around this thing. Obviously, we're gonna this the same road is gonna go everywhere. It's my my goal is to match this we're going to remove this this bridge and put a better one in there well a wooden bridge maybe we can go find some dark oak and then uh fix this make it look better but the the pathway is going to come up where i'm standing and then it's going to head this way because our main building is gonna artery and like the main doors are going to look right out here so it's going to be a little more elevated. Uh, we're going to be able to look out. It's going to artery onto this elevation that we're that that's going to go above this. So I think we're actually going to plan to do uh, this right. Uh, this is the elevation. Do we want to go up one more? I don't think so. I think we're going to remove this 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 layer, this top layer. Um. Do I want the road? Actually, no. That might might stay, but I'm gonna remove all the sand. So I think I think we're gonna go like this. Uh, and this will be our like permanent ish road. So you guys can see, we're gonna be start removing some of. So this will be the, the episode for today. Is a kind of spitballing. Um, it's gonna be a fun one with just me kind of farting around with our road. So I think it's gonna go here. Oh, then like I, I did, I threw down a uh, do something like this. We need some flat ones. So our inventory is gonna be kind of scuffed for a while, having a bunch of random stuff. Uh, like this. If we want to massage this to actually stair step up and down. This is going to get, we're going to have to build this out a lot, which um, is just going to be real fun. Uh, but we'll go like this. We'll see what this does. Actually, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. I'm going to go all the way down. Uh, we'll remove this. So you can see. Uh, that might be it. So, let's see this. Obviously, you could use just use um, half blocks on this whole thing. Like when you when you use, is it it does no it doubles. You use three to make six, so it's the same. So it's actually there. There's no value. Uh, gained by making them all into uh, a certain uh, or making them into half blocks let's go like this so we're going to need both so not only we need we need this go like that and uh, we're just going to we're going to we're going to get the basic kind of template down here and uh be kind of scuffed for a while because it's gonna it's gonna tear apart everything else we've already done. 
and then this is this this road's going to be in the way of our door but it is what it is starting to um put things into place that we want obviously that <laughs> this is going to be funny I'm trying to work around this or blown out doors and all that good stuff We'll see. We'll kind of see how this looks and, uh, you know, if we want to make changes or this looks okay or just what we want. You know, it's temporary until uh, we want it permanent. But, yeah, this is going to be... Uh, so the road's going to lead up here. It's going to lead down to the water, go over. And if we have to extend it, it's actually not bad. You can see if we had to fill in and match the road it's not too much and then we can just build it out and around uh throw it picked up a couple of pumpkins here put this one back right there for now cool and then uh so yeah this is this is uh we're starting the more major plans here. Got the road. For now, I don't think we're going to go that way. Maybe we just go like so. Uh, we'll match this up for now. That's just going to stay there. Mm, do we want this? Like, maybe. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to flow in here. And then it trails off this way. Like I said, I could use half blocks on this. But it's a little easier to work with whole blocks. Maybe we'll just stick with this. The only other real kind of uh, plan I wanted to do with this is... I don't know if we're going to add. So there's another kind of step. I wanted to do with this which is when I like lighting so getting these fences so I like to go like this like this and then like this and make get a bunch of fences you guys can see so so here or one two might actually work out so we got our whole blocks here so we want come out fence there and fence there one two three four four and four that's perfect look at that so we're going to come out and uh have a little bit of lighting <laughs> And the way that I kind of combo this and, and do this is uh, for now, we'll just use torches. So we're just going to have torches that kind of light up the pathway that we built. And not only the pathway, but uh, when it goes from our... Like so, on or to our bridge... It will, uh, the lighting will follow. For now, I'm just going to kind of throw these in. We can kind of see what this is going to sort of look like. Four and four. That didn't work. You got to put it directly on top. So. Oh, I fell in. My my die. It's always sketchy uh, with this. So we're gonna go with this. The old pumpkin theme. So this the the this bridge is gonna go away. You guys can see. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna fill backfill all this in with like. I don't know if it's just gonna be. It might be like it could be like two layers. Or one layer of grass and then like a header 
or like a border that goes around and then just have flowers or or like 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 low sitting uh food like uh maybe under so underneath this block could be water and then we could do like crops and just have like this whole front area just crops like we could do beets and uh potatoes and wheat uh you know just have a, a good a good array of everything and then uh like we could have like you know have farms in the front and then you know just for aesthetics or like eye appeal I'm gonna throw some torches down because i really don't want anything close to our base and then uh We'll go in and we'll rest. So yeah, we can see uh, this will this will this will curl around. We'll have uh, uh, like other flowers or farms. It'll creep around, and then we'll have to backfill this this side over here because this doesn't this this kind of need needs some help for just how it looks. But the the uh, I think we need to leave enough room for the building itself. We have a building itself and then ha being able to have some grass on the side of it. So maybe we come around. And for now, we'll just kind of uh, leave it there. Kind of throw some lighting down. See if we can't get back in here. Mm. Let's go like that. At the door? No, it's not. Door. Well, like I said, we're kind of building in our own way. That's all right. Figure we'll get something set up. We'll get the road in place. At least crept around. Oh, that's what I think. So you can see we're running. We're we're we're. I've already prepped a little bit of this. So we've got a couple of stacks here. I think we're doing anything with wood right now. Oh. So we'll put this away. There, there's my. There, this might be a two-parter just because of. Um. I need the, the dark oak, so I'm going to have to go out and scour and find a dark oak uh, biome. Because I think I want our bridge to be like birch and dark oak. We're going to grab a couple stacks. There's four stacks. This and this. We go like this. <laughs> very very I call it basic but doing a little bit of planning I think I like this road better I'm gonna tear these down just cause kinda got the way we wanted it. I was just kind of showing, like I wanted to visualize what um, things would look like with both examples before. Can't, don't really know until you. Show. Got this. Goes down. This is gonna be kind of a, obviously a chill episode. Just uh, 
Throwing down some blocks, man. Okay, so. Oop. This. Like so. Have a swing around. Like I said, maybe I'll do that on a different, different, uh, just on my own time, which is getting underneath us back filled in. You can see it's extremely flat. So uh, we definitely need to possibly, maybe I'll put a border in here of some kind of like half block to kind of border this better. Maybe we'll put grass in above it just for around like on the side of the building and then we'll we will uh kind of get this uh, elevated up and 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 get a plan for kind of what we want our build our main are the this be a it's kind of a crafting area maybe we can do uh, uh brewing in here uh, uh i mean just just multi-purpose uh like four or five different empty empty areas so we can fill them to do things and then um, for uh, like these these trees obviously can be temporary. We can we can uh, fill this in with with uh, automation and fields over there, or like a a barn because obviously this is vanilla, so everything's going to revolve around uh, animals and breeding, and uh, we just need a little bit of room. So this is going to be temporary for now. We'll throw these so we can get these. Uh, kind of uh, build in here. Perfect. Sweet. So uh, anytime I have like a roundabout like that, I just kind of fill in. We kind of dark in this corner a little bit, <laughs> but and we made that turn perfectly. So four is here. Keep going that way. Perfect. And um, this would be a lot of a lot of time to uh, these building episodes. Are gonna get kind of uh, well. Time obviously have time stamps in here, but uh, gonna be a lot of prep on my end for just kind of setting up and making sure that maybe I already kind of have everything ready. Uh, for the episode that I kind of want to do. So if this, like, obviously having the, uh, everything already dug out and, uh, like, ready for us to just plunk the blocks down instead of having to go out and uh, go get the materials, which is great. So kind of kind of goes around. We'll have our building here. We'll have a couple other buildings, buildings in the back, farms over there. Uh, we'll do something with this. I'm not sure yet what the plan will be for this. Obviously, as we get things built, we're going to need more room. So we'll just, we'll figure out something to do with that. Uh, let's see. So maybe I just, just make a temporary kind of entrance right here. Because... that perfect well we'll just kind of uh gonna look scuffed for a little bit until we can get moved and then the purpose of the the uh the glass was just to make sure it was light outside so i think i think we'll fix that right now so we can just make a clock and just have it on us and we can if we're moving from out or in, outside to inside or for inside to outside and we can't see what time it is we'll just look at the clock so i know that's going to take up another slot on our bar but you guys can see it's going to help us with uh, knowing kind of what time it is like this for now we'll go like that so we'll get 
this filled in. Cool. Got some dirt. So. Just for now, get uh, at least this front picked up, kind of. Figuring out its way back. And then, oh, I don't, I don't know yet. I, I, I really didn't. Let's see. So this whole match is obviously. I don't know if this is gonna stay down. I think this stays down. And. Look at that perfect. I think this does stay like um take this out just a little bit and like I said we're we were massaging uh gotta stay like this now because that's our temp entrance. We have silk touch on our axe, that's why we're able to do that. So you can see, uh, get the road in, we'll get this back filled in. It's going to kind of affect our shoreline a little bit. So maybe we round this out a little bit and, uh, be able to do some, some kind of cool stuff down here along, along the, the water stall, like have maybe just some trees and stuff planted or whatever. I don't know. I don't know yet what <clears throat> today's today's just getting the uh the road installed and then maybe we can tear apart the the bridge. But we keep going like this. But we'll bring this around. So if anybody that has not played Minecraft, there is no physics for this game. So it's not like uh, it's not like Valheim or any other game like that where if you build it figures out how much stuff weighs and if it would fall or not. This game doesn't do that. You can just literally put blocks anywhere and they uh They stay. So I'm thinking this will be like this is honestly gonna be like the main road right here. It's gonna artery back and uh go towards everything else that's kind of going on behind our build. Like right now, this is gonna be the where the main building goes, but obviously as we need more room, we'll keep working our way back and go through all that. get knocked off here we'll see like I said I don't that's why I don't like knockback 
because especially with skellies when you have a knockback on your weapon pushing your got mobs away from you <laughs> so not obviously I could just swap weapons around have different ones I could just go grab that fire aspect one maybe I could actually I could that fire aspect might be good for the overworld so this world so when you go in the nether it's a, like kind of like a underworld and this world's over that up just a little bit run that back we need uh, this inside we'll make it uh make it light again ah, that's not good I don't want that dark This way, this way. Any room? This way. Lots of pumpkin seeds. <laughs> that away. Press beat. Did not look into <clears throat> how to remove the poison or whatever from for our brewing. Oh, we'll get to it. We'll eventually get to it. I put all the... All right. This is where it's going to kind of get, get a little irritated with myself. So... Just, you know, keep... This on me. Keep a couple stacks. That, because... We... And I just need to make a couple more torches here. Take the, the go like this. All right, better. Now keep going around here. I'm gonna make I'm just gonna make some temporary. We need these all over the place if we're gonna be building. Especially when we're making uh put this here for now. Making uh, a lot of fences. Way more helpful. I think this will be a manageable uh, elevation. So I know it's not going to be, it's going to have to kind of come down, I guess, in this area for our road. But for now, I think the elevation is good enough that it's at. Up to right. think to like right here I think we should it, it, it'll it'll start creeping down I'll get this to like here kind of 
leave this. Get the uh, lighting. Three. I wonder if we just go like this, make it make it easy for, and then uh, call it a day. Road heading out here. Maybe we could maybe we could move. Now nah, we we want the, the so the whole goal for this is to kind of try to keep everything that at least our first builds like if our breeding and our 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 growing areas are close by just so they stay loaded that's going to be kind of a, a big deal for this put you make a bunch of time sure that pretty sure i didn't mess this up these are increments of four You do a bunch of, of effort with uh, making automation. You have to keep it loaded. So, uh, like the point, like like mob grinders. Uh, if you do like if you start grinding like chicken chicken grinder or doing that with with breeding cows and then. Uh, now, whatever whatever it is that uh you've chosen to uh start getting some a ton of experience especially a mob grinder like if we do something above us like way above us or even possibly below us gotta keep it loaded I'm striking out here i'm not drunk here But for now, we got this. But I want, I want some of this sand. Uh, maybe we chill for now. We got the, got that, that's installed. Uh, maybe I do have a little bit. So we're gonna keep going, actually. So we're just gonna focus on the road right now. I know this is gonna be a, a lot further away. But maybe we go like this. I'm just going to extend this. We'll go like so. Cut. 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 We got to figure out how low we want this. I think we want this elevation and come down what I'm not what I'm standing on, but what above it. So we'll go like, uh, I'm gonna build it up to this one. Oh, we'll, we'll uh, maintain this. run it out to here for at least be able to, to walk down here easier having a nice run a pathway where we can run in a straight line is a lot easier than having a parkour off, over everything this gotta get moved those gotta get moved good they keep going down. I think like that. Run this. Go up. Um, slowly massage it up. Let's 
so. Okay. Awesome. This. Okay, cool. Kind of ran this. Doing increments of four allows you to, uh, especially when you're using, you, you can, I, I can find my stopping point, which is always on the edge. And then if, as long as if you're using half blocks, if you stay on an even number, it's always going to land where your, your, your fence lands on a whole block. It's not going to like be hovering above because you can't, you can put fences on a half block, but it does this. It looks like garbage. I was just trying to kind of done this in the past. Trying to already learned these lessons in this game. You could e I mean you could easily do this differently. <clears throat> I, I just I'd like the uh seeing pathways, um things lit up, it makes it a little more eye appealing for sure. Um Things are lit up, so you don't gotta worry about mobs if it's nighttime. Or see, especially when now that we've got the the swiftness potion, it helps even more to pop those and then just get around so much faster. Uh, maybe eventually, the only issue I can see with this is you really can't run rail railroads on even number of blocks. But maybe that's for a different design. Like maybe we can do that on this side have like a little train station here and uh be able to go have it go down speed us up a lot then make the make the hill and then just have us go places <clears throat> railway system to the village or different biomes and stuff so that's that's a big big that maybe that's what where all of our copper is going to go is to uh eventually having a, a train station the got this lit up a little bit uh Take a gander real quick. Kind of looks like. Kind of like. Getting back a little bit and just seeing. Kind of how things shape up. Want any friends? Hehe. <laughs> Go sleep, and uh, maybe we we take this, and uh, we'll keep we'll run it on the other side. That's the kind of plan here for just two seconds. We're gonna sleep, take some materials on the other side of the water, and we'll do the same thing over there. Got a couple of stacks. So we'll grab the rest. See how far this gets us. Once you've uh, made it into smooth, you can't go back. Oh, if you like your just regular granite, don't do this. <laughs> Unless you want all smooth granite. Uh, maybe I'll grab some dirt. I don't have much. I burn. There's some grass blocks. Not that way anymore. <laughs> uh. Oh. 
we'll head this way. So this is gonna be maybe the next next uh, episode. We'll do the bridge. Uh, I'll, I'll at least get it tor uh, on on the um, on my downtime. Not recording. I'll get. Uh, I'll get this tore apart, and then we'll have uh, everything kind of ready for us to uh, to do this. And maybe kind of an, an idea of, of how I want it. Because uh, we just, I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes kind of just guessing how I want this. It's, it's obviously going to be three wide. <clears throat> Most likely it'll have, it, it'll kind of, it'll have two beams that go all the way down to the bottom just for aesthetics and physics. And then uh, it'll kind of curve a little bit and go up and get above so we can kind of see uh, I don't know if it'll get that high or that elevation but it will definitely get a little bit higher than it, this one is and then it'll obviously land on this side and so that's why I was tearing I got th this is the only problem that I see here is just how uh, drastic this side is Making this like somewhat work is going to be a challenge. Terraforming this side is going to be something else. With at least getting this where I can have four blocks on this side to kind of... Maybe we go on the... I don't know if we go on the water this way. We go that way or I'm going to have to tear all of this. Or some push some of this back. You guys can see this don't work. So this is where this is where I'm gonna get all my all my dirt from. Is uh, fixing this. So we'll just get some of this moved. For now. You guys to see how easy it is to, to tear through uh, a efficiency four shovel even with unbreaking three it just goes super fast I'm actually gonna pull it back so maybe we start I think I think it's gonna go like this we could obviously count it, so I could count where and make it where the fences line up perfect, so we can go f count it off in fours. So we'll use uh, maybe just dirt for now. And what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to advocate one, two, three. So we're we're the we're the uh, the the Where the, the this fence is gonna line up with that side and just figure it out now. One, two, three, so four. Three, four. Okay. Do a little layout where the uh, fences are gonna land. So I don't gotta fix it later. And then I'll gravel this all tore apart later. So it's gonna land here. That's gonna be a fence. And then I kind of wanted the it to start. Do I want this? What do I want this up? One more above the water. I don't think. I don't think so. It's gonna head that way, and it's gonna head that way. Oh, so, um, I don't know yet. I need to kind of look at this real quick. It's above. Oh, it's one. It's one tile above, or do I want to go two tiles above? I think we go on this one. We can actually just keep it on this one. Oh, we'll get this kind of removed, and we're gonna have to remove one more layer. I'll make this kind of the orange sand. We got any room in our bags? Because <laughs> we're full. Terraforming is different step than 
plunking blocks down. But we can kind of start. So this is where this. So these were the fences. So blah blah blah. So this is going to be too wide. I think we start here. So we'll go like this. So it's going to come across, land this location. So it'll kind of come up and then come down, <laughs> land here, and it'll start creeping this way. So it's going to be a little bit of a, a massage here for getting this to kind of work how we want it to. Pushing this shoreline out just a little bit. Two seconds to do that. And it's going to head that way. We'll have the good fence here. It's going to go here. One, two, three, and four. Good. Like this. Nope, that was not it. I wanted this. That was a f oh, this fence was... Okay, hold on. The fence is going to be here on this block because it's going to be wide. One, two... Three, four. Eight. This will be a wider. The block will come this way. It'll be this one. Here, one, two, three. It wants to be this one. Cool. I already got that figured out. So it'll be this one has the fence on it. One, two. Yep, that's right. Okay. Got this at least figured out. Like I said, this is... Oh, there's those... Hey, look! Holy smokes, there's those raiders. Look. They spawned out in the water. What? That's funny. All right, the pillagers, sorry. So you got pillagers over there. I'm not sure how if, if they're drinking their aggro on me or not. We'll see. Uh, we'll go like this. <laughs> you can see them off in the distance there. Those are pillagers over there. <laughs> That's funny. There and then we here. Other I'll come across, land here. This will be white because it'll come across. Uh, The only thing that, that, I mean, I guess we'll keep it uniform to our build. So it doesn't matter, like, it's not four from here to, like, here. And, like, this side matches up. I don't care about that. What I want is it to, for my world, this is the center of my world, which is my build. So everything's going to match up with it. So, the... It's going to be kind of blocky, but it's just kind of how it's going to be here. One, we're going to have some company. Dark out now. 
He's not a th he's not a spear thrower. We got that going for us. Oh, he's fast. Fast. I'm gonna have to come back and fix this road. It might just be too plain with it always being, you know, granite diorite. But it's, I don't have the problem. There might be other people that be like, hey, you know, you could have done this or this. Nothing's, nothing's perfect in this. We'll get, we'll get, we'll start getting things fixed. Got to come across. Yeah. Kind of off and running a little bit. Make some friends here. We'll go rest for a minute. Kind of got the uh, the start. Getting some roads ran, and then on the next one, we will. Uh, I got to get out of this hole in the ground. Maybe the uh, the crafting station will stay, and maybe the the uh, we could probably move the brewing, but we need to get into at least our main building so did some layout at least know where the fences are that's why it looks scuffed like this if you guys are jumping ahead I'm trying to get at least an idea of where our roads are gonna go pathways i should say not roads hey look Another one of those guys throwing in spears at us. Fun. Really? I don't got any room. Gotta think about this. I need. Fortunately, we gotta go back. We gotta clean out and make some room. Uh, oh, it sucks going back and forth. Just uh, kind of get my mind to think about longer steps here. Anything I don't. Tough, there's no, you never have enough bag space. Uh, this, oh, okay. Yeah, it did. Okay. So when you're terraforming or manipulating the, the, the ground, the issue is. Throwing a ton of blocks on the ground if your bags are full. Maybe I just want this at least fixed. this and uh, get the other side real quick start getting into the the uh, scene of how long things actually take when 
you have a build in mind and you have your pathways in mind but if you want things uniform and you think you want things to to, to look you know natural or, or the ground to look not scuffed you gotta you gotta uh, dig it out <laughs> this kind of minecraft a nutshell right here Doing kind of two things at once. Getting material by, by gathering the sand and the clay. But then you got to... Like, do you want just this wall here? It looks like garbage. You know, I mean, we could we could easily put something up like we could do pixel art there. Um, we'll see. I can look up some stuff, especially when we get started getting into our wool. We got to get our wool set up because that's going to help us with with uh, dyes. Dyes are dyes are all fun in games when you start uh, mass producing wool. But especially like lapis, I mean that it's still you know after you blow through like five or six stacks of lapis because you're using it for dye and you're not you don't have a uh, uh a bunch of uh sheep set up and you're 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 shearing and caught and, and copying a bunch of uh, uh pieces of wool so like you can so what you do is you you have a you have a white sheep and then you use lapis on it, it'll turn it into a blue sheep. And then you can just shear it over and over and over and over and over and over and over versus taking white wool and using a lapis every single time you want a blue one. You just make the sheep that color and then you just have a bunt. Like if all you want is blue, you just set up a, a farm of blue sheep and just shear them over and over and over and over again. And you can do it that way. So... Uh, getting this stuff automated if 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 this is going to be something that you know you're going to play for a while and you want a lot of wool that's a certain color you just you just have sheep you breed them white and then you separate them into different pens and you make all the colors so that's that's the bigger uh, concept of the parts of this game <laughs> but i got to look at this so i want this i want this we want this road to head this way. I think we just stay along the water. Uh, does that mean that we're going to dig this out? Maybe. Go along the water, and then it's going to head out that way. We could, uh, what's the purpose? So we, we, we just, my only real focus I wanted to do is get on this side. And then, um, I don't know. We can just have the road just chill and end here for now. Because we don't really have, I'm not, none of my plans are on this side. For the foreseeable, I just wanted to, uh, at least get a, get a pathway over here. So maybe we can just kind of, uh, at least make it easier to uh, run on this side. At least have a easier route, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Maybe we kind of uh, know I want to go this way. We, it, it can go up. So we can kind of... It's every two, so... Let's go like this. We need dirt anyways. Lots of dirt. You think I'm joking? We're gonna need a lot of dirt. <laughs> and I'll come back and just clear this. So at least we got kind of like a runway a little bit. Kind of has some light on it. We can just come up here and just run this way. And we can we can fill this in. We're still kind of running roads just a little bit. So we'll go like this. Full. Half full.
We'll see. Uh, if we have, if I run. Yeah, so full and then half. Gotta go like this. We do that. Matches up, yeah. And, oh, I've got a couple. I definitely didn't bring enough. We guys can kind of see the concept of making it pull up this way. And then just being able to run that way a little bit. Get the kind of it off Be a lot of filling in this. Uh oh, see, I did not plan that right. So the fence is not going to land correct. One, four, but should have ended. See, bad, 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 bad. I know this is kind of tough to watch, but you're the master of this build, so you need to make sure that things land correct if you want things to not be scuffed. That means that this either this needs to like end here, and then it needs to go up. Now it goes. Uh, Half full, half. half. Wait, is that correct? Goes like this. This. Ends right. Kind of scuffed the uh, this part for two seconds, but that works better. I'm gonna come over here. We're head back, but you guys can kind of see the planning involved if you want things to kind of flow. So I'm getting attacked right now. But we're kind of. But I'm gonna end the video right here. And on the next one, I'm going to play and get do, figure out something to do with this. I don't think I'm going to leave that. I don't like how it looks. Get some of the roads kind of ran out. And we're going to, on the next one, we're probably going to address this bridge. But first, on my off time, I'm going to go find some dark oak. And on the next one, uh, we'll be doing the bridge. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. Uh, Maybe some feedback if you guys enjoy these. And then until next time, guys, this is Gambler. Peace out.